Next, we will introduce the wiring method for the turtle robot. After the tire case, there will be six four-pin wires, two long three-pin wires, and seven short three-pin wires. Two three to four turn adapters, a one to six turn adapter. Now, let's start connecting the wires. Take a short three-pin cable and connect it to the socket above the outer bracket on the back right leg. Connect the other end to the socket inside the right rear leg behind the mechanism. Take out a long 3P wire, connect it to the right rear leg, close to the inner base, towards the front jack. Also, one end passes through the boundary. Connect to the socket on the right front side towards the outside base at the bottom. Take out a short 3P cable and connect it to the socket on the outer side of the front right. Connect the other end to the back socket inside the front right panel. Take out a 3P cable and connect it to the front on the right side, near the socket in front of the mechanism. Connect the other end to the head-mounted machine near the bottom jack. Put the head back on. Now the right leg muscle line is complete. Take out a short 3-pin cable and connect it to the rear left side, near the rear panel, to the upper connector. The other end should be connected to the rear left side, near the internal side of the rear panel, to the lower connector. We take out a long commercial wire connect it to the rear left side base terminal in front. The other end, through the interface, connects to the rear left side D-stacker terminal in front, taking out a short three-pair wire. Connect to the socket above the outer bracket on the front left side. Additionally, connect the other end to the muscle at the back, near the left front inner thigh. The left leg is already wired up. Now let's connect the head wires. This is the head component which was pre-installed. Take a fiber optic cable and connect it to the port inside the head camera. Then take out a 4P cable and connect it to the connector in front of the right eye light. Pass the other end through the rubber part to the left headlight. Connect it to the outer socket. Take out a 4P cable and connect it to the inner socket of the right headlight. Find this rubber part and install it. Next, install the head. The head is now fully installed. Take out the 4-pin cable of the headlight and connect it to the front socket from 1 to 6. Then secure it on the body. Find the torn cable from the camera, thread it through the right corner component and connect it to the main controller's B socket. Take out a short 3P cable and connect it to the connector on the lower outside corner in the right rear corner. Take out a 3 to 4 adapter and connect it to one end of the cable. Take out one 4P cable and connect it to one end of the adapter. Fix the 3 to 4 converter on the right rear axle's plug. Connect the other end of the 4P wire to a 6 to 1 converter in the middle. Take a 4-pin cable and connect it to another outlet beside outlet number 6. Pass the other end through the rear right corner and connect it to the main controller's port. Take out a short 3-batch wire. Connect it to the left rear jack near the outside base close to the bottom. Take out a three-phase motor and connect it to this three-phase line. Then take another 4P cable and connect it to the 3 to 4 adapter. Secure this 3 to 4 adapter at the rear left corner, where the slot is. Also, connect the other end to the main controller's F-port. Then cover the panel of the repeater and tuck the wires from the head side into the grooves inside the plastic part. The wiring for the turtle robot is now complete.